Martin discusses the concept of willing to give up something, willing to give up an old mindset for a new one, one that doesn't micromanage but allows for transparency to take place in an environment where uh, individuals can carry out their duties in a meaningful way. And so the idea of giving up control, this idea of controls and eliminating this uh, management hierarchy that seems to only direct accountability to the top, sort of how do you put ownership or give ownership to the team itself? And allowing the team to choose who to get the information from or which direction to go in and, and embody in a sort of self-ownership is necessary for organizations that are truly transparent. I think the idea of having individuals lead their own charge, give them the freedom and the flexibility to do what they want to do, but yet still, where does the leader fit in in the scheme of things? Is it just having the employee go off and do what they want to do. And there is this fine line. There is this idea that we give ownership and transparency to the individual. We give it to them, but the type of control that the organization must embody is that of guidance allowing for information to thrive, allowing for opportunities to present itself, allowing for there to be room for organizations, leaders, managers to convey information necessary for employees to engage in the right habits and behaviors. So essentially, where how do we manage the transparency of things? I've seen organizations that try to use this type of modeling where they say, okay, well, this is all the information, you know, this is all the slides, this is, this is my job, you know, as a leader, as an executive leader, this is what we're tasked with, this is what I'm tasked with. And then they just throw over the burden to the team by saying okay well you yeah take ownership for you know this information and you go do something with it and that too is also the wrong approach that too is not the right approach it's not that this is the data because we all have our own roles and responsibilities to take care of and and that's the truth in various organizations that you have your own task and different things that you're achieving on a daily basis. You're working on a metric system and a measuring system for your duties. And then there is this leadership aspect of things, but uh, it's now being filtered to the workers. It's now being filtered to everyone else within the organization. And and they're now responsible for carrying out the the task of administrative duties, for instance. And so it's not to blur all the lines. It's not to blur administrative duties with everyone else's duties. There is distinct roles and distinct kind of job descriptions for everyone. There is a task assigned to particular individuals. There is a certain level of accountability each individual must undertake because of their particular role. But the the key is is not that we are transparent to the transparency is not to throw over the burden to someone else or hand over the responsibilities and the roles to someone else, but the transparency is to allow the team an opportunity to manifest and work with the data to now go ahead and improve upon their own duties and their own task. 
it's not really to shift over job titles and job responsibilities to other employees within an organization. So this discussion could probably go on for hours. But I think the key takeaway here is that, yes, having a blend of employees Having a team that is transparent, that works together, that is not being micromanaged, but one that is synergistic and works, you know, independently. And, you know, that's like the ideal team independently takes on all the roles. Look at all the the data, uh, you know, take on and embody everyone else's role and responsibilities and the ownership of the whole company themselves. That is ideal. But the truth is, it's how do we use this data? How do we use our own roles within our organization to transform the space that we're in? And then how do we leave room for individuals to move beyond their current roles and put valuable input back into the system? Because feeding individuals or employees the data and and different types of transparency without allowing them an opportunity to uh, now use that, not only to transform themselves within the position or the role, but then they have to now be able to input it and show the change uh, on a grander level, on a stage that allows them to flourish not only in their individual task, but now bringing that same light out into the organization and allowing the employee to engage in a, a true participation uh, for meeting organizational goals.